switching to Linux but can't decide between Mint, Ubuntu, or Fedora. You're not alone. Today we're breaking down these three powerhouses so you can pick the right distro for your needs. Stick around till the end and check the links below for installation guides and resources. Let's dive in. So, quick rundown. Linux Mint is built on Ubuntu but focuses on simplicity and familiarity, especially if you're coming from Windows. It ships with the Cinnamon desktop, which feels intuitive right out of the box. Ubuntu is the most popular Linux distro period. Backed by Canonical, it's stable, widely supported, and uses the GNOME desktop by default. It's the go-to for beginners and pros. Fedora is sponsored by Red Hat and sits on the cutting edge. You get the latest software and kernel updates fast with a polished GNOME experience. It's for users who want modern features without losing stability. Now let's compare what actually matters. Software and package management. Ubuntu and Mint both use APT and dev packages, so you get access to a massive software library and tons of third-party support. Mint goes further by removing Snap by default and favoring Flatpak, which some users prefer for faster sandboxed apps. Fedora uses DNF and .rpm packages. It's rock solid, but sometimes you'll need to enable third-party repos for things like media codecs or proprietary drivers extra steps. Ubuntu and Mint handle automatically. Desktop experience. Mint Cinnamon Desktop is lightweight, customizable, and feels like a refined Windows layout. Perfect if you want zero learning curve. Ubuntu's GNOME is sleek and modern, but it can feel heavy on older hardware. It's gesture-friendly and touch-optimized, great for newer laptops. Fedora also uses GNOME, but it's closer to the vanilla experience, clean, minimal, and fast. Fedora also offers spins with KDE, XFCE, and others if GNOME isn't your thing. Performance and stability. Mint and Ubuntu share the same LTS base, long-term support, meaning you get five years of updates and rock-solid stability. Mint edges ahead in performance on older machines because it's lighter by default. Fedora releases every six months and supports each version for about 13 months. You're always on fresh software, kernel, drivers, apps, but you'll need to upgrade more often. It's stable, but not LTS level. Ease of use, Mint wins here for absolute beginners. Everything just works. Codecs, drivers, multimedia pre-installed. No terminal needed. Ubuntu is beginner-friendly too, but snap packages can slow things down, and some users find them clunky. Fedora assumes a bit more comfort with Linux. You might need the terminal occasionally, especially for codecs or NVIDIA drivers. Community and support. Ubuntu has the largest community forums, tutorials, and support are everywhere. Mint piggybacks on this since it's Ubuntu-based. Fedora's community is smaller but extremely active and helpful, especially if you're into open source philosophy and bleeding edge tech. So here's the bottom line. Choose Linux Mint if you want the easiest transition from Windows, great performance, and zero hassle. Go with Ubuntu if you want maximum software compatibility, enterprise backing, and the most community support. Pick Fedora if you love having the latest and greatest features, don't mind occasional tinkering, and want a pure open source experience. All three are excellent, it just depends on your workflow. That's it. If this helped, hit that like button and subscribe for more Linux content. Links to all three distros are in the description below. Which one are you running? Let me know in the comments. See you in the next one.